What's up guys, Alesia here. I'm finally back on making videos again. I haven't made a video in quite a long time, but I have been very busy. But now I feel like I can make videos again. So first of all, I wanted to say that I kind of want to change up my content a little bit. Um, because I really like doing the Nate videos because, um, yeah, I think utility is a huge part of the game. But I wanted to make videos where I talk about certain situations, how to react in a certain situation and stuff like that. Because I feel like I have a lot of, yeah, knowledge if you want to call it like that. Um, for those type of scenarios and I want to share my thoughts on it. So I kind of want to create a community of players that want to get towards the next level, maybe into the semi-professional or professional level, or might even help lower tier professionals to improve their game. Because when I watch a lot of demos, um, I see a lot of mistakes being made and I feel like most of those mistakes happen because players just don't understand certain situations and how to react in those type of scenarios. So yeah, that's basically what I aim for. So yeah, let's hop into the first video. So this first video is still going to be about Nate, but I wanted to talk about how to use your Nate and your monitor as a connector and a window player. So this video is going to have three parts. The first one is going to be early round, the second one is going to be mid round, and the third one is going to be how to use your nades against a standard A execution and potentially some retake nades as well. So first of all, let's talk about early on. So most of the times what will happen, the enemy team is smoking off this area right here and then they have someone monitoring the connector. And you should figure that out quite early as a window connector player. And if you notice that the enemy team is doing that, you should always have someone coming into the window room and then just toss this simple nade because this will catch the guy that is throwing the Molotov perfectly and it will do about like 50 damage and this is just a great um, nade for starting off the round. An alternative way of doing this nade is that you come towards the connector. So this smoke off here. And if you notice that they're always throwing the molly, you can just come here and you can throw the nade before the molly comes into the connector, just like that. And maybe do a little bit of spam and this will do a lot of damage as well. You can toss the nade even a little bit deeper, so do it like that. And this will catch the players that are coming up ramp. And if you think they're playing a little bit passively, you can do it even harder and just throw an elite like that so the next thing that is quite common is when you're the window player they will have um yeah this top mid smoke maybe connect the molly and then they will have someone going behind the boxes and throw the window smoke so if you notice that something that you can do is throw molly behind the boxes when the player is already behind the boxes and then throw a bunch of flashes into the mid area and try to kill someone that is trying to run out of the molly so as a window player, when you're smoked here, you want to come into this corner. You see this first dark line, second dark line, follow it up towards the right, go one line lower and then move towards the right until you hit this wooden thingy here and then just throw the molly. So like this, go a little bit towards the left again, throw the molly and you will get this molly here. And after that, um, so it's going to look like this, you come here. Go towards the left again, throw the molly, and then when you hit the wall in front of you, you just crouch and do a right click flash. So it should look something like this. And this flash is going to help your teammates um, while fighting. So it's not going to be the initial flash that your teammates fight with, it's just a follow up flash if someone is coming out of the boxes and tries to fight your players or maybe here he's going to get blinded by that flash and this will help your teammates to win the fights. So this basically is for early rounds obviously you can nade slope and stuff but I'm not gonna talk about that and now let's hop into the mid round. So what usually happens um, in the mid round is that the T's are actually trying to take over the connector. So they might smoke off here and now you have a lot of options with your nades and your mollies as a connector or window player. So one thing that you can do 
is you let them come into the connector, you get yourself into this corner, have a look at this blue sign, follow the top line of it and then just run a little bit forward and do this nade. Just make sure that you don't run too far so you're not exposed towards the A-pillars. So like this, make sure you stop here so the palace player can't see you. And that's the first thing that you can do or you can just do a molly like this so they don't get into the connector so these are ba those are basically your two options so first of all um you can make them you can try to slow them down so they don't get into the connector at all so you kind of want to make sure you block the connector um as long as you possibly can so the smoke is then starting to fade already this can be like very good if you have an opera here because he can't do a lot of things um or let's say it's way harder for him um, to fight the connector if they're already here because then he can't really do that much and if you have a setup where you have someone on ticket it's not really likely that you have someone that can retake the connector so this is not a very effective option to be honest um, so in this kind of scenario when you have someone on ticket it might be good to slow down the connector take so they don't get into the connector at all because then when the smoke is fading again uh, he can hold angles like this or maybe like this and this will be way better for your upper to yeah basically get free kills the other option is that you let them come into the connector and then you kind of retake it but there's something really important to understand for your short player because very often um, when the T's are trying to take connector control, they're usually taking short control as well. Sometimes they smoke it off like this, but usually what happens is they try to take connector control and then if they have connector control, um, it's kind of easy for them to check angles like this and then it's really easy for them to take short control as well. So if your connector player is telling you that he wants to go for a move where he lets them come into the connector and then once they are in the connector, he is going to throw a molly and then your short guy can maybe catch someone that is repositioning. It's very important for your short player to understand that he needs to block short. So let's say you see this smoke in the connector and now your connector player is telling you, yeah, I'm letting them come into the connector but I'm then gonna molly them. It's very important for you as a short player now that you make sure that you don't get pushed back on short. So if your teammate is calling that you might in initially want to smoke this off so now one of the T players has to be like holding this or maybe yeah whatever most likely he's going to be a Nuki because they need to have someone taking care of this or they will have someone under window that is holding this you obviously need to be very careful about do those two positions but now you have a lot of space um, on short and you make it really hard for them to make a decision because now they have to decide do we still want to take connector control without short control and we need then someone to hold short or do we cancel the whole thing and this would be great for you because imagine them um, yeah, smoking window using all of their utility, now smoking top connector and now you smoke here and they, then they say, okay, let's fuck it, it's too risky for us to take connector control now and then you completely ruined a huge part of their mid take by throwing just this one smoke. So again, if your teammate is doing this move, maybe do your smoke and you might want to use your molly if you're scared of someone under window. And then you can carefully maybe move into a position like this and then your teammate is storing the molly and the T might reposition and you can easily catch him off guard. So another situation that might occur is that they throw a molly into the connector and then you just smoke it off and you re-smoke connector and you have someone sitting here holding underground. This is a very good position to get an early fight. And if you find someone here and you don't kill him, make sure you never nade under window immediately because they just won't be there and I see it all the time. So either you just use the nade like this, like after you've taken the fight and you think that he's low, you can throw a nade like, uh, a little bit lower. You can throw a nade like this, which is really powerful. 
or you just kind of wait and then you make him feel comfortable so he fights with you and then he realized okay you're not there anymore he feels safe he moves under window he's still low hp because he took the fight with you and then obviously there's still smoke and then you just do a nade like that and finish him obviously always when you play this position like here and you make yourself known like um you shoot or something like that um you always want to have a teammate with you or you need to be very careful about someone getting flashed in so maybe you anticipate that and after you fight it with the underground guy you just wait here for a few seconds make sure you're anti-flash and you're kind of anticipating that someone is getting flashed in from top mid when mid control is taken quite slowly usually what the t's default is going to be look like is that um one guy is on b one guy is on a and three are taking mid control so something that is quite common is that if they have one a player and he's holding slow that you will find him on this position right here and maybe you figure that out when you push a few rounds earlier or you just saw it in a demo and if you think he likes to play there you can just come up the stairs um, obviously you need to be very worried about um, or need to be careful about palace but usually when the mid control is taken slowly the side players are very slow as well because it's too risky for them to engage into fights and it doesn't make too much sense since their mid control is um, taken slow so you don't need to be too scared of house but if you really are you can just smoke it then make sure you don't just throw your nade right away so you come out here wait a few seconds make sure no one is peeking you and then you can just come here and throw a nade like that and this will deal a lot of damage to someone holding an angle like this the next nade that i'm going to show you is kind of a little bit risky so you need to have this smoke but when this smoke and you understand the situation is not that risky so it's for the same situation um than the nade earlier so they're taking mid control but this time you think that they have someone in palace instead of slope then you just roughly come into this area and you want to see this wooden beam here so you just come here obviously slope is still smoke and then you just throw a nade like this and this is a great nade for someone holding an angle like this or maybe being close here or maybe being close here so if you time it correctly you can do a lot of damage with that and if you do it a little bit more towards the right you can obviously do this as a flash and this is a good pop flash for yeah positions like here or off angles like here or positions like here whatever something that might happen to you as well is that they have someone on slope and he's just looking out by himself and sometimes what happens is that you have someone on ticket and he's jump spotting or something like that and now he's not able to kill him but he spots him going out of ram so now the t is probably going to be in a position like this or like this and if you're the jungle and connector player um, you can just do a nade like that where you just come into this corner crouch aim underneath this wooden beam here crouch a little bit and throw a nade like this and this will do a lot of damage to someone coming out of ramp and now your ticket player has a great advantage of fighting him or maybe he's playing on the default box and now yeah he just has a great advantage and you might want to follow this one up with a flash and then you can just kill him now let's talk about what you can do with your nades and mollies when they just hit the a side with an execution so usually how an a exec um, looks like so smoke here here and ct yeah come on let's do one more and now you have a few options with your nades and mollies so one thing that you can do is when you see the smokes coming you just get into this corner you wait a little bit and then you do a nade like this and this is a really really powerful nade if you time it correctly so you have to wait a few seconds because most of the times they throw their smokes then they have maybe different lineups for their flashes and then they come out and if you delay the nade a little bit you can do like 100 150 damage um, it's a very very good nade against an a hit that you can throw in the beginning of the execution another thing that you can do is you wait for the a 
uh, for the execution, you wait for the flashes, and then you just drop a nade like this, and you just spam a little bit. So this nade will perfectly catch anyone that is trying to clear under Belk or moves towards the side. And if you time it correctly again, um, you can do a lot of damage. And if you're lucky, you can even kill the entry fragger without him like having the slightest chance of like fighting you. So you just get a free kill or you at least shoot him very, very low. And then your CD player has a great advantage um, when fighting with him. Another very cool thing that you can do on the A side of Mirage is that you deny the plant. So they're basically just five plant positions, which are first, second, third, fourth, and fifth. So those are the most common plant positions and all of them can be denied very, very easily. And I'm quickly going to show you that. So if the execution is coming, you see the, the smokes, you might want to throw your nade. Do a little bit of spam. Now you have a lot of options with your mollies. So a cool molly that you can do is a default molly and it's pretty easy. You just come into this corner and like this, walk a little bit and then you get the molly like this and this will get the whole default plant and some of those parts here from the ninja corner. You can throw it a little bit towards the left and a little bit lighter and then you will get ninja as well uh, that was too much if you throw it a little lighter you will get ninja and the default plan all together and that's something that you can do or you can throw a molly for this side of the firebox and um, to do this molly you kind of want to locate this darker spot here then go up until you find this line aim towards the bottom of it press your um, left mouse button and your right mouse button and then just do the jump throw and this will get this plant this plant and this plant and now you can spam this plant and this plant and your CD player only needs to be worried about this plant right here so it should look something like this so the executor is coming you see the flashes you drop your nade go a little bit of spam and move towards the side get ready and then just throw the molly obviously you kind of need to be careful about someone being in palace but if the execute is coming you can just smoke it off or before you do the molly you can just throw a flash in and then do the molotov and then you come into this corner right here locate this thicker part of the wall and then you just spam there and this will kill anyone trying to plant here and after that you can um, spam this position alternatively your CD player can do a molly like this. Which will get this and this position and this position. And if you combine it with that molly, you only need to be worried about this position right here. And this can be spammed from the jungle player. And on top of that, this can be very easily be spammed from your short player if you just have a look at this dark line here and you just follow it down and then you just spam you will perfectly kill anyone that is trying to plant here so yeah that's basically how you deny the plant position the only thing that you need to be worried about um if you have someone spraying the smoke like this the second player um always needs to be careful about someone getting flashed through the stair smoke so it's very likely that they might or a flash like this and then just come through it so the second guy should always um yeah be kind of anti-flash and be careful about that usually you don't need to cover connector because your short player will do that and if you're spraying from here you're not going to be open to players that the short guy can see so yeah it's pretty safe to just hold stairs and your short player is going to take care of connector just make sure that you're kind of playing anti-flash and be ready for someone coming through the smoke so now let's quickly talk about retake nades so for retaking a is something that's really common um, you come out connector or you still have jungle control maybe and you smoke off palace that's something very useful to useful to do yeah and then a cool molly that you can do if you are able to do it um, you just come into this corner right here aim underneath this wooden plank here 
and you do a molly like this and this will get rid of anyone playing on Tetris or close to Tetris and it will make it way easier for you to clear this whole slope area. Something that happens quite rarely but sometimes it happens is that you lose control over CT so you only have this area here. You can obviously smoke this off like it's a very simple smoke from here. And if you want to do that, you can do that. And if you are worried about someone being on ticket or moving up to ticket, you can just throw a molly against this part of the wall here. And now they can't be here. They can't move up onto the box. So this is a great molly to do or great combo to do if you're retaking and you don't have control over CT anymore. So now let's finish up the video with a cool combo for the B side. And I've stolen this from Saiten. Um from expert gaming and it's very simple so when you see the plant or when you're rotating and they're already out of house you can just throw a molly against this wall right here so very simple just throw a molly like this and you can follow this one up with the nade so it should look something like this and usually what happens is you hear the plant and they hear the molly but they think they can um, get the plan through but then the nade will come and they will get stuck and you get a free kill and this is very 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 useful because now they can only plant here or they just have to cancel the plant but you will most likely get a kill and the bomb is going to be down and yeah it's just a great combo to do when rotating towards the b side or just retaking it in general so yeah that's pretty much it for the video guys i hope you guys liked it um if you did feel free to give me a thumbs up if you have any topics that you want me to talk about, feel free to suggest them in the comment section below. Um, this video is probably going to be longer than it had to be, but I haven't made longer videos in quite a while and it will take some time for me to get used to that. Again, um, it's not my native language and it's not going to be as fluent as it would be in German, but I'm trying to do my best to make this video, those videos not longer than they need to be. But um, I wanted to include a lot of information so they would be valuable to players that have a lot of experience already. So yeah, that's kind of what I wanted to do. Um, I want to make videos that include the information that I wanted to share or would share with my teammates. So they're actually suited for players with some experience as well. So yeah, that's basically it. And I catch you in the next one. Peace out.